Stevenson head coach Paul Cantabena now joins us here on the All Access Post Game Show. Coach, uh, I know you would never make excuses. I know that's not who you are. How much did it hurt your team this week going through what you guys did health-wise and you know, just how difficult has it been for you guys coming into this one? Uh, well, you know, I think, you know, well, with 14 confirmed cases of the flu on your team and you had another seven or eight guys that uh, who aren't 100 percent going into the game, it's uh, <laughs> it's a little tough. I might have caught up, but there's no excuses. We gave some we have some really other guys who did a really good job and I uh, thought played hard. But, um, you know, uh, their goalie, had nine, they had 19 saves to our nine and we're one of six man up. And, you know, I thought they did a good job in the first half. They get very talented offensively and they, can, they really make you pay. So but disappointed in the effort overall, I think we're. You know, we just got to figure out kind of what we're doing here and answer some questions. But we were in the same situation a year ago. We ended up all right. And uh, and uh, after we got uh, beat up pretty good by York a year ago. But I think, you know, we're still, you know, we're a work in progress. We'll get there. We have a lot of really talented young freshmen who are doing the best job right now. Our upperclassmen, for whatever reason, aren't uh, giving us what we need. And so we have to go to some younger guys. And uh, But I like what we're doing. I mean, still, there's a lot of things there that you know, I know from the eye when you look at 19-7 that there's not. But there's a lot of things there early on that for us to get there. And I think there's some plays that we're, uh, we're just not executing what we need to do. And it's tough that when you can't throw the ball pretty much in the ocean right now for us shooting the ball wise. So whatever the reason is, we're just really struggling throwing in the net. And we got to keep working at it it and hopefully uh, you know practice today and Thursday and then we're going to give the guys three days off to get away and uh, I think we all can use that a little bit right now yeah. and uh, but um, you know hey it happens you know you're going to get your butt beat sometimes and you got to hold your head high and still take you give kudos to Tufts and everything like that they're a quality team that's why they're number three team in the country and and uh, we're, we got to keep pushing away and you know start to kind of start from scratch here and I think we can get back you know we still have a lot of games to play. You guys, you talked about that week off. Is, is that really coming at the perfect time for for this team after playing four and eleven and three and five? Well, you would, you, I mean, after losing all those games, you would say yes to that probably, and how sick we are. Um, uh, but uh, you know. You know, we just need a couple days off. I think it's good to hit these guys get, you know, those three games in five days is always tough for us. And, uh, you know, we've gone through before successfully. Other times we haven't. And so uh, we'll get some rest and get up and, you know, get away a little bit, relax, and then come back to work on Monday. Yeah, try to get some positives in. I thought Mark Pals played really well yeah, after he great. came in for you guys. And yeah. you got another couple of guys you can give some positives to after yeah, that. Yeah, well, I think, you know, Mark did a great job coming in. Sam was obviously not seeing the ball real well, so we, we had to make a decision there. And I think Mark uh, did some um, some good things and uh, really played well. But I thought Shane Ford, you know, played well. I thought Shiloh Sashin faced off fairly well. You know, we didn't face off uh, Seth for uh, – he broke some team rules and we had to sit him for, for a little while. So, you know, we had that little bit of an issue there. But, um, you know, I thought – you know, I think Cam Lydic, continues to play really well you know I think he does that but obviously you know not having Tatum and and uh, you know and Josh Brandon and you know several other guys that could have helped us and Tyler Sullivan can only go a quarter before he had the call of quits and with all that catching up to us but I think some guys did some good things we, we competed I mean if you look at the stats you know we're right there ground ball wise and everything and shot wise and face off wise we scrapped it up and did a good job and it's just that you know we kind of gave them some easy ones and we couldn't you know we couldn't score in any of their easy ones our goalies played well. All right, Coach, appreciate you coming up here. We'll see you next Wednesday. No problem. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys. He's Coach Paul Cantabene joining us here in the All Access Post Game Show. I want to thank everybody who made our broadcast possible tonight. The sports information departments of both schools, led by Greg Royce here at Stevenson. Steve Clendenin, our executive producer. Also, thanks to Joe Wamba and his entire team on the Mustang Sports Network. Paul Taylor, thanks for coming and hanging out with us, filling in for MC McFadden. Absolutely. Always a pleasure. 